Welcome back to Sportsbook Review Videos. It is a Thursday night football matchup, again, that should hold a ton of value as the St. Louis Rams play host to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And I am back once again to give you my best Thursday night football prop betting picks from Bet365 Sportsbook. Got a nice little mixture of player and team props. We'll start off with my lone team prop on this one. It is a race to the points between these two teams tonight. Uh, first to get team to get to 10 points, and I think the Tampa Bay Buccaneers actually have pretty good value at plus 110 to get to 10 points before the St. Louis Rams. The Rams offense, outside of last week where Todd Gurley got going again and they beat up on a lowly Lions team, the Rams offense has been atrocious this season and one of the worst in the NFL. And even though the Bucks offense hasn't looked too good in two of their last three games, and even though they've only done uh, only won the race to 10 points three out of their last six games, I still think Tampa could get back on track this week against uh, against a good but beatable Rams defense on the short week here late in the season where they should be a little bit tired. I think the value is there for a potentially sneaky play here at plus 110. I, I just love the NFL odds on this one. Can't get away from it uh, here on Thursday Night Football. Next up, Doug Martin, who has an over-under for rushing yards in this one of 88.5. And, and Martin has been really outstanding over the last four weeks. Week 11, he had a 235-yard performance against the Philadelphia Eagles. In the last three weeks, he's averaged 6.8 yards per carry. Had an average of around 90 rushing yards in all three of those games. However, this week, he gets a very good and top five Rams rushing defense, potentially a game where they could fall behind. If that is the case here, it would go against our first play, but it's a good way to hedge against it just a little bit here with this one because in their last two losses, Martin has only rushed the ball in the second half seven times. And if that's the case this week, the Bucks give up on the run prematurely in this one on the short week. I think under 88 and a half could hold some value here at minus 110. The Rams could easily run the ball with their rookie phenom a ton here. Keep the ball out of Jameis Winston and Doug Martin's hands. I could easily see Martin only getting to about 70 to 80 yards in this one. Go under 88 and a half. Now, finally, Another Bucks player I think the under could be a really good bet on this week is Austin Safarian Jenkins. He's an over-under of 41.5 receiving yards, and the young sophomore Bucks tight end has been injured a lot throughout this season. After a huge 100-yard game against the uh, Tennessee Titans to open up the season, uh, he really hasn't done much since then, and even coming back from injury, he had a complete dud last week. He only played 25 offensive snaps, and if that's the case again this week, the under is going to once again be a very, very good value because outside of that big game in week one. He's played only three games this season uh, outside of that big game. He's only caught the ball eight times for 91 yards in those three games. I think we see a similar performance this week. Even though the Rams are giving up the eighth most uh, receiving yards, two tight ends this season, I don't think Severian Jenkins is going to get off against some of these very talented Rams linebackers. I think they'll be able to stay with him here and hold him under 41 and a half. So there it is. There are your Thursday night football prop betting picks. Best of luck to you on those three. Make sure you check out my NBA picks as well tonight. Got a couple over there for you as well. But until then, for Sports Book Review, I'm Jordan Sharp.